Welcome to reviving Anthony Bennett's NBA career with the Miracle Wheel in NBA 2K22. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. This is our fifth installment of the Miracle Wheel series. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. And this is our first video of the Miracle Wheel series where we're taking a legit NBA bust and reviving his career. The other ones we did, they were fun. They were cool. But, like, I'm not going to consider Taco Fall, Bull Bull, or LiAngelo Ball legitimate NBA bust in NBA history. We more so dedicate that to the guys who were drafted top five, top ten, who just did didn't pan out how we thought we were going to. And in this case, one of the biggest busts in NBA history, Anthony Bennett. So before I get into the 2K section, we go over how this is all going to go down. Let's just kind of recap Anthony Bennett's career and where he is now. So when you go to his Wikipedia page, it pretty much lays it all out for you right here. So he was obviously drafted by the Cavs and later on moved to the Timberwolves and then played for the Raptors the next season, got brought down to the G League and played for the Raptors G League team. He then played for the Brooklyn Nets and then he played for their G League team. And then this is where he really started to bounce around. So he he played for a professional team, a Turkish professional team, and then he went to the Arizona Suns, which uh, I think that's a G. Okay, he went back to the G League, and I think he went back to the G League again. So he kind of floated around the G League for a good two to three years. And the last sign of him being involved with the NBA at all was being on the Aqua Caliente Clippers. I think I got that right, but that was the last time he was ever involved with the G League basketball team or the NBA in general. And then in 2022, he played for the Hapo Jerusalem Basketball Club, and then now he's currently on the Cal Young Steelers. Hopefully I'm getting that right. That is a professional basketball team in uh, Taiwan. Yeah, okay. So that has been Anthony Bennett's career going from the number one pick in the draft all the way to playing for the Cal Young Steelers. And he's still relatively young for, I mean, it feels like he's been, he's older, but he's only 29 years old. That's a lot younger than I thought. I thought he'd be like 33 by now, but he was drafted just, you know, 9, 10 years ago. And if you cared to see his overall stats, he averaged four points a game, three rebounds and half an assist for his entire career and just never really I, I really never even did anything I mean, the most minutes he averaged was his second year in the league and he averaged 16 minutes a game just never panned out which is exactly why we're here on 2k22 to fix all that I decided to put him onto the Clippers because that is the last NBA team he was relevant to but I did put him down in the G League he is a 68 overall in the G League 29 years old no, nothing's gonna be eye-popping there's just, just gonna be nothing good about him I mean he literally is playing in Taiwan right now so I mean he's not really built for the NBA as it goes so it doesn't make sense to really even have him that high of an overall honestly 68 is kind of a gift i'm gonna be honest he has no badges and the tendencies are fairly normal if i have to go and look at them they're fairly normal yeah so he's got 79 shot tendency and then everything else is just kind of blah whatever so now let's break down the miracle will aspect so here's the miracle will i'm sure a lot of you already know this but again if you're new i'm presenting this to you so at the beginning of every single season i'm going to have the opportunity to spin this wheel and everything on it is something that is going to make anthony bennett a much better basketball player and we're able to spin that miracle will after completely completing one of these challenges at the beginning of every single season except the first season we give him a pass we just get a free roll just to make him a little bit better just to kind of get the ball rolling then after that i have to complete the challenge in order to spin the miracle wheel for people who are new i added a few different challenges but nothing too crazy since my last miracle uh, wheel video it's nearly been a month it, one would have been out sooner before i i got hacked but i mean you know kind of is what it is but um yeah so uh, sorry it's been a whole month but you know what, what are you gonna do i'm gonna throw this information out for some of the 2k heads who are really invested in my league and know their ins and outs of it um i decided to make his peak end age 41 because obviously if I made his peak end age like 33 he would start getting bad in a matter of like three to four years and we want this to go on for pretty long because again he's already 29 this is the first video we've done where a player is already significantly older but you know I don't want to just you know lower his age to 21 because at that, at that point we would just be re-simulating his career I don't really want to do that I want to revive his career from the point he is from not I don't want to say down back because the man's playing professional basketball but just not being in the NBA and now given a second chance and his career to be revived not just starting the whole damn thing over again so let's get into to reviving Anthony Bennett's NBA career with the Miracle Wheel. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. Oh, one more thing. For every single championship Anthony Bennett wins, I'll be um, giving away $10 on my Twitter. So if you want to be a part of that, go follow me on Twitter. And um, yeah, he actually has to be in the rotation on the team he wins. So if the Clippers win the championship this season, I'm not giving away $10. Anthony Bennett has to be an actual piece of the team. And as I just said before, the first year, free Miracle Wheel spin. There's an auto win. So we're good on that. So we're going to see what we can do. I don't want anything crazy though, but you know, you never know what's going to happen. Change to position of choice. That one's kind of ass i'm not gonna lie because i mean i don't really know what other position i'll put the guy at maybe he goes up in overall but i think power forward he is six eight maybe we could you know we could put him at point guard that'd be kind of funny let's let, let's let's try it out so hypothetically if i were to move him to point guard is he just gonna turn ass he goes down to a 63 but i mean like he's already ass like he's a and i gave him a four-year deal so he'll actually be in the nba for at least four seasons and hopefully he gets good by then so if i make him a six eight point guard he may end up being a demon or, or a shooting guard you know he goes up to a 66 that may not be a bad bite to make him a shooting guard so yeah you know what i'm gonna go ahead and make him a shooting 
recruiting card. Yeah, let, let's try it out. Sure, why not? So, in theory, yes, we did make him worse. He's not even in the reserves. That's how bad he is. But, you know, I, I think that'll be the right move for down the road. So, now we're just going to sit like this first year see what happens. He's not going to really be doing anything. So, we'll just see if the Clippers win the championship, I guess. It still is a very good team. So, I mean, with Kawhi and PG, you got a shot to win the championship. All right, and Luka Doncic is your MVP. No surprise there. He wins it every damn year in the 2K. So, at least for the first three years. Chet Holgren, Rookie of the Year. Sixth Man of the Year, Malcolm Brogdon for the Celtics. Very possible to happen in real life as well. Defensive Player of the Year, Giannis. Most approved, Daniel Gafford. And Coach of the Year, Ime Udoka. Now, let's see if our guy, Anthony Bennett, made an NBA team this year. I I'm going to go ahead and assume no, because that wouldn't make any sense. So, yeah, no, that's not going to happen. And the Clippers were the eighth seed. Wow, they actually kind of suck. Now, since Anthony Bennett has no relevance in this, I'm just going to simulate the play. And if they make it, cool. If they don't, whatever. Okay, so they made the playoffs, whatever. I'm not going to sit here and do a simcast of a, a playoff series that, that Anthony Bennett has no involvement in. So, is he still on the team? Okay, he's still on the team, and he got called up from the uh, Clippers Gilead team. So, now he's officially on the Clippers, and now he's a 63 overall. I don't know what happened there. I don't know why he's down in overall, and it looks like the Clippers brought back DeAndre Jordan, and he's, uh, okay. I'm not sure why he went down. Oh, he's upset. I guess he's upset. I don't know. I thought I turned off morale because I don't really like using morale. Let me just double check that. I think it might be too late to change the morale being off, but I turned down the difficulty and effects to zero, so hopefully we don't really, you know, need it or deal with it, so yeah. But I guess for now, Anthony Bennett's gonna be a little upset, so he's down. Okay, now he's a 65 overall, so he's not as upset, but listen, bro, can you really blame the team. He is outraged. Listen, bro, I got it. But what do, you, what do you want the Clippers to do? Give you minutes? Anyway, we'll go ahead and simulate these playoffs and see what uh see what happens. And the Clippers are out in the first round, which again, I'm not going to sit here and sim cast every single game between the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Clippers. And the Warriors are your NBA champion. Stephen Curry was your finals MVP. And we're going to write the player progression. He could end up getting traded. I don't know. I don't. I gave him enough money to where a team wouldn't just cut him. Uh, because I think if I gave him like a four year minimum, like a team would probably just cut him. So hopefully that does not happen. Anyway, here's player progression. Kawhi's down two overalls. Paul. George is down three, so it's looking pretty rough right there. And how about Anthony Bennett? Okay, I think Anthony Bennett actually went up in overall, but I think the morale, he, he's annoyed right now, so I guess that's kind of why. Yeah, I don't know why the, the whole morale thing's happening. I thought I took it off before I started, but I guess I didn't, so we're just going to have to kind of live with it. So now we got to battle two things. We got to make him good off the miracle wheel, and we got to make him happy. So there's a lot to handle right now. And now we're in season number two, meaning it is finally time for our first challenge of the Anthony Bennett miracle wheel. Give me something nice and easy just to get the ball rolling again. Madden 22 ran super sim this is a new one but again it's you'll understand it it's not that hard so this is very simple i'm gonna hit random team it's gonna give me a random team and i'm gonna hit random team over there it's gonna give them a random team and then we're gonna super sim the game kind of like simcast and 2k same kind of thing and if the game is close to the end we'll hop in and watch it but pretty much it's a simulated game that's why it's random so here we go here's my team three two one and i got the vikings okay pretty good uh for a madden team and then three two one for them and they got the titans this is actually a pretty close battle for madden's sake all right so as i said we're gonna super sim it jumping forward to the end of the game and it's literally just gonna simulate so if any scoring happens we'll kind of keep watching it okay we just got a field goal titans got a field goal back we're now in the second quarter we just scored a touchdown titans got a field goal titans got a touchdown before halftime can we get something okay tie game and i don't know there's a lot of scoring going on we're up 10 right now this is a very competitive football game right now. We might actually have to slow. I, okay, I'm going to slow it down because it's actually getting relatively close. It's second and 10. Okay, Kirk Hunt throws an incomplete pass. This could be the game right here, and it's fourth and one. Are they going to go for it? What, what's, what are they about to do? Oh, that was... Okay, they didn't get the... First, okay, I see what's happening. So now they're going to have to get a stop, and Derrick Henry is killing them right now. They still have three timeouts. Should we hop in? I, I think this would be... A, it's second and five. Okay, let, let's... Let, we can watch. All right, for some reason, they're making me play, so I just came out... I guess I should just blitz. I, I, I don't mean to be coming in here and playing, but I mean, I'm sure they would do the same thing in blitz. Uh, oh! What the hell was that? There's no way 6'3", 250-pound Derrick Henry is just hurtling, dudes. Anyway, I guess I'll call the... Are the Vikings going to not call the timeout? That would be really stupid. That would really be annoying if they didn't call timeout. I don't know what's going on right now. It's not letting me do it. Okay, so they didn't call timeout. And wait, I thought that was second down. Now apparently it's second and nine unless I'm just blind. Looks like they're going to hike it, hand it off to Derrick Henry. Someone please make a tackle. Thank you. Got him down. Now call timeout. All right, you know what? We're good. I swear to God, I thought it was already second down when we got that stop, but I guess uh, something's wrong with me, I guess. Well, this is the game. If they don't get a stop here, it's over. Tannehill hikes it, dropping back. Oh, yeah, it's game. All right, well, we just lost. Well, that's great. <laughs> it's just fantastic. So, again, if you're new, that means no miracle will spin, and we're just going to simulate regularly. So, we got to hurry up and get it together. That was that was a rough loss. That was a lot of scoring. All right, and Jokic is your MVP, averaging 25, 14, and 10. Rookie of the year, Victor Wembanyama. He's going to be amazing. Hopefully, I just pronounced that. Wembanyama. I think I got it right. Six minutes 
of the Year, Malcolm Brogdon. Defensive Player of the Year, Giannis. Most Improved, Paolo Bancaro. And Coach of the Year, Emo Doka, back to back again. Hey, Bennett, you want to, you know, go ahead and make an NBA team? No, that's not going to happen. He just, hey, listen, we're, we're just happy to be in the reserves, okay? We're just, that, that's how we're feeling right now. Anyway, the Clippers suck. I don't know what's going on in the NBA right now. It's where the Clippers are just a bad basketball team with also being healthy. It's not like Kawhi or Paul George is out, but they're just a bad team. 11 seeds. So they're going to need Anthony Bennett to eventually save the day, but that is not going to be today because we, I, I just couldn't pick the right team to simulate. So, that, you know, on the Madden game. Anyway, let's take a look at the stats. Kawhi and Paul George doing a thing. What, what about our guy? Oh, he's not on the team anymore. Okay, well, that is that is wild. Hopefully, the Clippers did not just release him. That would be very bad. There's Anthony Bennett. He's a member of the, the Detroit Pistons. Okay, all right, that's not bad. 68 overall, you know, doing his thing. Did he, like, play a minute for them? Like, like at all? No, he didn't play a minute. I guess let's see the Pistons stats. Cade Cunningham doing his thing. Jade and Ivan looking good. So, where, where's our guys involved with this team? Oh, my God, he's, like, the worst player on this team. That's pretty bad. Is he at least a reserve? Is that... Okay, all right. L listen, we're still in the reserve territory. That's fine. We just gotta, again, we gotta clutch up these next few years of getting the Miracle Wheel spin. We, we gotta get it done. And the Pistons are on the plow, so the fifth seed, but again, we're not gonna pay any mind to it because even if they win the championship, it's not like really Anthony Bennett contributing anything. Maybe, you know, he was a big locker room guy, you know, something like that, but it doesn't really matter for the 2K sim. Tyrese Halliburton winning finals MVP. Take a look at that. Hopefully, by the time I go to player progression, he is, you know, still on the Pistons because, again, he does have a three year deal now, a two year deal because he's only got two, two years left on the contract. But anyway, here's player progression. K Cunningham going up and overall Jaden Ivey going up three where is our guy Anthony Bennett still at a 67 overall man or 68 whatever he's been floating around so he's feeling energized though so he's happy to be in Detroit so that that's a good thing he was not happy on the Clippers so he, I guess he feels like his role really matters to the team now which isn't really much again you're pretty much just um a worse version of Haslam at this point you know I'm a Heath fan I love me some Haslam so I got it but at this point you're just Haslam so you know we, we gotta do better and by we gotta do better I mean I have to do better because we have yet to get a go I mean our Freebie was kind of ass, just changing position, so we got kind of got unlucky there. Oh, God, okay. Golf with your friends, two pars. All right, well, I'm, I'm going to do my best here. This is not going to be easy. I'm not good at golf games. All right, we're keeping the challenge very simple. The first two holes, I have to get pars, and this first hole is a par two, so I got to really lock in and make sure I don't mess this up. If I just shoot it right through, you think I... I I, I gotta play this safe, right? You, you would think if I play it safe, I'll be good. So if I just cross here, okay, yeah, yeah. See, this is this is the right move. No going for the comp strat. You know, we're here to revive Anthony Bennett's career. I'm not here for my selfish reasons. Okay, all right, all right. We're, we're, we're good on the first hole. Okay, if I don't get a part two here, this would be absolutely disgusting. Wait, I get a free camp for 15 seconds so I can see where the hole is. Okay, so it's literally straight away. So as long as I don't shoot it over somehow, I'm good. So we're going straight away. Come on. And then if I push it at like one and a half, like I feel like this is enough to get it over. And if it's not, I'm going to be upset. This should, this should be enough though. Oh, there we go, baby. Hold in one. Now, people who've played golf friends are probably saying, wow, there are those like two easiest courses in the whole dang game. You bet it was because I'm looking out for Anthony Bennett where clearly you're not. So we're going to go spin that miracle wheel. Come on, miracle wheel. We need something that is going to make Anthony Bennett great right now. Well, not right now. It's just something where there's some growing steps, okay? Plus 30 to all defensive attributes. That is a great way to start getting on the court because of your defense is a great way to go, man. Everyone can get a bucket in the NBA, but the guys who stay on the court are the guys Guys who can play defense. I'm just trying to give some confidence. I'm, that's all I'm doing right here. And there is a fair amount of defensive rating. So we're really going to go through this and make sure every single defensive rating goes up by 30. So here's one interior defense going up to a 75. Great way to start. Perimeter defense going up to a 75. We're looking good here, man. We're going to get on the court because we can play some defense. Our steal going up to a 56. That's good. Our block going up to a 78, man. Okay, I like what we're doing. I don't really consider rebounding defense, but I guess I'll, I'll give defense defensive rebound up 30 and not offensive rebound i guess so uh 90 for defensive rebounding but offensive re when you make a player build offensive rebound is in the defensive part of your badges so you know what i'm gonna give it a slight notch and we'll give the 30 offensive rebound as well defensive consistency definitely that being at a 42 is absolutely insane so 72 is better speed and excel is not defense strength's not defense vertical is not defense that's all physical attributes so um yeah i think we're good here so he went up about four overall so that, that is a good start i don't know if that move gets him on the court no Oh, but at least oh I still reserve I was gonna say I was gonna say at least he's not a reserve anymore but you know he's right there he's just not better than Bryce McGowan's yet or Lamar Stevens so we got some work to do we're gonna is that Austin Reeves or Austin Reeves so we got some some mountains to climb we're just not there yet but hopefully in the next few years we get there okay and LaMelo Ball is your MVP
MVP, Caleb Foster, Rookie of the Year. I think this is the last year of the real draft class. So six Man of the Year, Malcolm. Bro, dude, bro, it's like three times straight, bro. <laughs> Defensive Player of the Year, Giannis, Most Improved, Josh Christopher, and Coach of the Year, Emu Doka yet again. Checking out the NBA teams, looking for our guy. Yo, hey, listen, maybe a defensive team, but he's not getting any minutes. So, and the Pistons were the ninth seed. I don't know why they're like ass. I don't know what's going on, but they're um they're they're pretty ass, even though they have a pretty good basketball team. But we'll just simulate the plan and see if they make it, and they didn't make it. So there you go. Checking out the stats here. What did our guy? Uh, oh, he's not on the team anymore. <laughs> so, like, come on, man. Why why do they keep bailing on my guy Anthony Bennett, bro? Like, what's going on? Now I gotta search through and find him again, man. There's Anthony Benny. He's on the Dallas Mavericks. Okay, maybe he has a role as a 3 and D player for Luka. I don't know. Let's see the rotation of this Mavericks team. Is he at least a reserve? Can he be... A oh, he's not a reserve anymore. He is the 13th member of the Dallas Mavericks. Listen, I understand this miracle of video is maybe not going as you planned, but again, sometimes you gotta take the bunny steps from going to G League to not even being a reserve to being a reserve, and now the 13th member on the Dallas Mavericks. Man, there's levels to this, and he's just getting up there, but we just gotta have patience, and I know the man's already 32 years old, so there is not that much patience to have in the first place, but we're doing it. Anyway, let's see some of the stats. Luca going crazy doing his thing, obviously. Did uh did Bennett like play a minute? Oh, oh, he played he played did he play a game? Can we see any games he played? Look at his stats. He averaged 0.3 assists a game. That's actually pretty good. He played a minute per game. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look, he, he has some games where he plays like a minute. Look at that. Yeah, there's another game with a minute. There's another game with a minute. Yeah, <laughs> okay, that's pretty much it. Okay, that's pretty bad. But hey, whatever, bro. Well, I guess we'll simulate the playoffs because the Mavs suck too. They're the 11 seed. I don't know why so many teams are bad, but I guess there's only so many good teams that can be in the playoffs, and I guess the Mavericks are one of the bad teams. I, I have no idea. And the Pacers winning the championship. DeJounte Murray winning finals MVP. I think Halliburton just won it last year with the Pacers. I don't know what's going on in Indiana, but they're doing their thing. We're going to go right to player progression, and this is the last year Bennett has on his contract, so we, like, have to win this next Miracle Wheel Challenge <laughs> and make him good quick because a team may not give him an offer, and then I'm going to have to step in and, like, you know, be play God for a minute and give him a contract offer, and I don't really want to have to do that, so... Here's player progression. Please, God, just be on the team. Okay, he's there on the team. He's a 72 overall. So we're looking good. I just hope a team gives him a chance if we don't end up getting the Miracle Wheel. All right, come on, Miracle Wheel. Please bless us with the greatest spin of all time. Give us the easiest challenge here. And auto win would be... Oh, my God. It was almost all the way. Portal, portal. I will not choke this. I swear to God, I will not blow this. I will get this right. Please don't be some no-name ass player that I've never heard of in my life. And that's not to be offensive. We're just here to make Anthony Bennett great. So I'm not I'm, listen, bro. I, I don't care about the 15 player on the end of the you know Pistons bench, bro. I'm here to win. All right, I am locked in. We're gonna keep our tradition going. We're gonna get Duncan Robinson with our first guest and go off it. Okay, so he's in the Easter Conference. He wears number 55. Oh, I'm not good at jersey numbers. That does not help me at all. But I do know divisions, and he's this guy is clearly a center. Man, this is a tough one okay so he's a center he's in the east he's on the southeast division meaning he can be one of the other two divisions which i, I mean listen i could just name off a whole bunch of teams and players so i just start thinking of every single team's center and, and just kind of go through wait doesn't oh i was gonna say samuel dallenbear but i don't think he's in the league anymore that would have been a pretty stupid guess doesn't bobon wear 55 or am i kind of tripping on that one man i don't know who wears 55 but i'm just gonna try to take a shot here but again we got all day to figure this out bro. we have to get this one for for our guy anthony bennett we have to make him good so you know we go we got to do our thing here all right, so it's got to be, obviously, it's going to be a center. He's got to be just, oh, my God. And he's fairly young, too. He's 25 and younger, so he's a fairly young center in the league. So I'm going to guess, like, Chris Boucher and just kind of go down after that. Okay, so it's not in the Atlantic Division. All right, so it's in the division that has, like, the um the Pistons, the Bucks, the Pacers, uh, and there's two other teams there that I'm, I'm obviously forgetting. But this player is a forward center. Okay, we have a little more information. He's a forward center. I didn't know Chris Boucher was 29 years old. Okay, I actually didn't know that. I thought he was younger than that. But he's a forward center, and he is 6'10 or 6'11. Okay. And he wears number 55. I feel like I should know this, bro. So the five teams in this division are the Bucks, the Pacers, the Pistons, the Bulls, and then there's one other team I'm obviously forgetting. But just off those teams. So the centers and forwards for the Bucks are, I mean, obviously Giannis, but it's not going to be Giannis, not Brooke Lopez. It's not Bobby Portis. For the Pistons, they have Marvin Bagley, but I don't think Bagley wears 55. They have Jalen Duran, but I don't think, I don't know what number he wears. Maybe he does wear 55, and I have no idea. Is Duran even on this? Jalen Duran is on this. I'm going to take a shot and just guess Jalen Duran. Okay, so the player is on the Pistons, and it's a center. God damn it, bro. Like, oh my God, I'm dead. about it. Oh my God. Who, who is this no name player, bro? Who is number 55 on the Pistons, bro? It's not Marvin Bagley. There's no way this is Marvin Bagley. Marvin Bagley does not wear number 55. 
95. So if it's not Marvin Bagley, oh wait, it is a center. It's not a forward center. It's a center. I'm stupid. I don't even know why I said that, but whatever. Dude, I don't know who the. I don't know the. Like, it's not. I'm gonna guess Bagley, but it's not Bagley. Like, I know it's not Bagley, bro. Like, it's literally not Bagley. He's 23 years old. This guy's fairly young. I'm getting screwed over right now, bro. I'm literally getting screwed over right now. Like, I'm dead ass getting screwed over. Like, this is actually bullshit. All right, so I just went to 2K22 rosters. I went to the most outdated one. Let me go ahead and see Pistons. All right, who 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 is this? Is, is it Kelly? No, it's not. It's obviously not gonna be Kelly Linick. So it's not Marvin Bagley. The guy's 23 years old. Who the hell is this player? Who who's the guy? Who? This is the person's not even here. Who who is this player? Who who's the player? I am on the most updated rosters for 2K, and this player apparently doesn't even exist. Who the hell is this guy? He's not here. So I went to 2K's current roster, and apparently it's Luca Garza. But I don't think Luca Garza is even on the Pistons anymore. I'm like I'm pretty like confident that this man does not play for the Pistons anymore. Luca Garza plays for the Portland Trailblazers. I just looked at it on my phone. No, I no. This is this is an automatic. I, I you know you know. Oh, well, mm, this is pissing me off. I know, I was like, there's no... I, I can't think of the player who this is. Like, I got completely robbed here, bro. This person doesn't even play for this team anymore. He's on the Blazers. This is a bullshit game. So I think we could all just go ahead and agree that I'm going to take my win because that made no sense. You, they literally had a player who didn't play for that team. How would that make any sense? And of course, like, I'd screw with, like, the 12th player on a bench. Plus 100 to the weight. That's... I don't know if that's going to really help here. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what that does for him, but okay we're gonna give him plus 100 weight <laughs> that may have been the universe telling me hey man hey buddy nice try but i guess we're gonna make him 345 pounds this man's gonna be a 345 pound shooting guard bro i don't know i really don't know how the how that's really gonna suit him but you know maybe in the sim or like in simcast it'll help him out just kind of getting position on players but uh that doesn't help him overall why so hopefully he just keeps staying in the league because that was a bad one. that was karma i guess i could have went to play larry brutal but i decided to not because i was like you know what screw it, bro i want to make bennett better and I, I got the bad end of the stick on that one so what are you gonna do so now here's the rotation for Bennett's third season. I mean, third or fourth? Fourth is the fourth season, right? It's the last year of his contract. So, um, oh, he's back to a reserve. That is unfortunate. All right, and Lamelo's your MVP rookie of the year, Gilbert Roberts, fake players at this point. Six man of the year, Lonzo. Hey, all right, that's nice. And Indiana, what, what the hell is going on in Indiana for the past four years? Defensive player of the year, Giannis uh, in Boston. All right, again. There's, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on. Most improved player, Tyrese Proctor and Coachy there, Chauncey Bills for the Rockets. All right, what an NBA we have set up here. But anyway, let's see the NBA teams. Obviously, our guy's not going to be making an appearance, but that's okay. We got plenty of time. The Mavericks are the second seed, not really due to Anthony Bennett, unless he's, you know, giving those real good pep talks, but, you know, that's, he's not doing much. I'm actually gonna bet he's not even on the team. Is that, would, would that be right? Yep, of course he's not. I've just, uh, of course he's not. Now I gotta go ahead and find where he is, so let's go ahead and make our way all the way down to, what, 72 overall? He's a 73 overall on the Hornets currently, so he's, you know, chilling with LaMelo doing his thing. How many minutes is he getting? He's getting about a minute a game? All right, that's not bad. Let's see the rotation for the Hornets. Oh, they have Bull Bull. That's funny. We actually did a career revival of Bull Bull, if you want to go see that one, but, uh, um, yeah, Anthony Bennett, not a reserve anymore. So it looks like the Hornets are treating him right. We're in Dallas. They were kind of doing him dirty. So we are back to not being a reserve. And we're just going to simulate the playoffs once again. You know, the Hornets could very well win the championship, but I'm not giving away $10 because Anthony Bennett had nothing to do with this ring. So no, you're not getting $10. Don't care. Didn't ask. And uh, yeah, but that officially puts Anthony Bennett off of his contract. And I'm praying to God that this man does not actually <laughs> does not retire from the league. Please don't retire. All right. I think we're good. But the hard part is him actually getting a contract. And if he doesn't get a contract, I'm going to, again, have to swoop in like god here and just give him some money and put him on a random team or i guess leave him on the hornets maybe because i guess it's the last team he was on but let's go to player progression did they give him a new contract please of course they didn't let me go ahead and see if i can find our guy there's anthony bennett 73 overall currently not on a basketball team so here's what we're gonna do i'm gonna simulate about a month into the season and if he does not get picked up by a team then i will go in and give him a contract probably on the hornets because it was the last team he was on so yeah that's probably what we're gonna do but this is this is looking rough, man. All right, well, I simulated about a month. Let's see if he's on a team. And Anthony Bennett is not on a basketball team. So we're going to go ahead and sign him. Okay, at least they can give him money. I'm going to I'm gonna give him a four-year deal, bro. We're going to give you another shot at life right here, or at least in the NBA is what I, more so what I mean, shot at life. Kind of an exaggeration, but you get the point. Anyway, let's go. I don't know why I just... Did, did I just sign him? Okay, no, I, did. I randomly gave him a player option. I don't really know why I decided to do that. But uh, yeah, actually, that would be... No, nah, that's kind of dumb. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to just give him the four years and just call... Actually, should we give him... Oh, I keep messing up. We should probably give him the most money we can because like we don't we, we want we want a team to go look at Bennett if he doesn't get better and go 
man, that was a bad contract. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a good idea to sign him like this. And now we will get into our next challenge, which hopefully whatever challenge this is is not something AIDS where to where they want to give me a player who doesn't even play on a team anymore for a potal. So that can't happen. Oh, God. All right. Okay. All right. I, okay. All right. I will, I will not let you guys down. I will not let you guys down. All right. Here we go. Now, again, I've said this every single time we start a Mario Kart race. We can label this as a skill thing on the wheel or a random one because I could just get with a blue shell last second to come in, in last place. So you never really know. And uh, not a bad start there, but we got some work to do. I just noticed I have this stupid thing on in the back to where I don't fall off the map. I don't know if that's going to benefit me here coming top three or not, but, you know, I guess better safe than sorry, huh? Not doing too bad to start off, kind of just cruising along. Only have six coins, though. If I could... I just... I just... I just had, like, I'm just, I just got to get dick road, bro. It just, it just is what it is. Yeah, I'm absolutely blowing this game right now. I got a star. All right, all right. We're not doing bad. There we go. Got to just... Just got to somehow find ourselves in the top, like, four five by the third lap that would be that would be really good to do please don't throw any of those red shells at me i'm gonna kind of trail behind this guy because i'm not trying to get hit bro like i'm good on that please throw those red shells i, I don't want to deal with them oh thank you yes and throw the last one just just get rid of it buddy of course i get hit with one that's that's great stop oh my god we are down to the final lap and it has not been going well. Okay, all right, all right, hold on. We're not, we are not dead in the water yet. It's not over. I need a two box. I need, I need a star. I need a star. Literally. Okay, all right, all right. We got a star. I'm not, again, not dead yet. If I can get the two box, okay. What's in it? What's in it? What's in it? Three mushrooms. Okay. All right. All right. Hold on. No. God, this game. I, oh, oh, oh. Oh my god! Oh my! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I hate this game. I hate. I, I legitimately hate this game, bro. I hate. I hate this game. I. 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 I can't, I can't, bro. I, I. I legitimately hate this game. I legitimately hate this game, bro. Like it genuinely pisses me off, bro. I said. What did I just? What did I said at the beginning. Of that, I said. Oh, last second, something's gonna happen. You're probably gonna get right there to be top three, and then just get hit by something. Yeah, of course. Like, sorry, Bennett. I tried, bro. I tried. I really did, bro. I really did, bro. Like, uh, I. I really tried to help you there, bro. It's just not. It's just not gonna happen. It really just is not gonna happen, bro. I'm. I'm really sorry. All right, and Lamelo Ball is your MVP. Congrats. I wish. I could have gave you a running mate with Anthony Bennett, bro. I, re I really tried, bro. It just, it just has not. <sighs> it just, it just has not been working out. And the horns of the first seed. Congrats to them. And I'm sure Bennett's on the team unless we gave him a crazy enough contract to where nobody wants to trade for him. So I guess we, we got off good there. But I mean, you know, he is 34 years of age. We got a good five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one. We probably got like seven, eight years left to really get this going. So we got to get this thing going. Hey, at least he has the championship. Does that count for something? Even though he did absolutely nothing, you know, even though the horns just lost in the first round right there. But you get the point. He's got a ring. That's that, that's. Something. No, we got plenty of time. And here's player progression. Lamelo is at 97, dude. That is insane. What about our guy Anthony Bennett? Still a 72. The worst player on the team. Isn't that something? And some of you like the idea of like if we don't get three challenges right in a row, we get an auto win. But um, we we got we've gotten one. We just gave him a hundred weight. It just didn't add anything to his overall. So we got we, we've been pretty unlucky with the miracle of spins we've been actually getting. So um, what do we got? NBA 2K playgrounds make three threes in a row. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. The goal is simple. As I said, I have to make three threes in a row. Now, this is in the random category because it's completely random. So I'm just going to use the random every time and hope I make it. And if I don't, then we're going to be sad. And I went up against like 6-1 guards. Oh, I choked that. He blocked it. It's not a shot attempt. Doesn't count. Come on, make it. That doesn't count. It doesn't, it doesn't count. That didn't count. That didn't count. Hold on. That didn't count. Okay. This one counts though. All right, that one counts. We got one. We got one. We got one. Let's go. Oh, wait. It's three times two. So if I make this three, it counts as two. Here we go. Make it. We did it. All right. So that's so. I just hit three threes in a row. Um, I just got my controller. It's two. But, um... That was a very difficult challenge. Um, thank you to 2K Playgrounds for sponsoring this video. Not really, but um, yeah, we did it. Good job. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I have no idea what possessed me to put that challenge on the wheel. Maybe just making one three when the game starts. Okay. Making three in a row, although we completed it, it was very difficult. We got it done. So um, let's go ahead and see how we can help Anthony Bennett here to make him a great player. What do we got going on? Unlock all badges. That's a pretty... That's... <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty good one. <laughs> I, I, I feel I, I thought God was gonna just you know kind of you know get me back on that one and you know give us like you know gain a hundred more pounds even though we can't get any more pounds. 
But um, unlock all badges is a nice gift. I think the 2K and basketball gods have finally realized what we're here to do. We're here to make these guys, you know, we, we don't want to see bust in the NBA. We want to see everyone become superstars and everyone be amazing, man. We don't want to see everyone just be bad and all these players who are high draft picks be bad. We want to see them hit new potentials. And now Anthony Bennett is up to an 88 overall. Man, this video is going really well, isn't it? This is a fun video. I can't wait to read the comments of this video, man. It is going to be quite the time. But now Anthony Bennett is now starting. He's back starting in the NBA. Actually, there's probably... I don't know if he ever started in the NBA. I'm not. I don't. I have no idea. I actually have no idea if he's ever started. I mean, probably first year in Cleveland for a few games. Other than that, I don't even. I have no idea. But um, yeah, man, team is looking really good now. So let's see if Anthony Bennett, with every single badge literally in the game, <laughs> is enough for them to win the championship. I don't know. All right, and Lamelo Ball once again is your MVP rookie there. Clayton Moore. I better see most improved player being Anthony Bennett and it not being close. Six man of the year, Case and Wallace, defensive player there. Look what we're doing. Look what we're look what we're look what we're doing. Okay, you can look back at the you know maybe Kevin Durant missed a few of those threes in that NBA player grounds game, but look at what we're doing, man. Bro, Anthony Bennett's got some swole ass arms. Oh my God, most improved. How is it not Anthony Bennett, bro? He just went from literally reserve to defensive player of the year and Chauncey Bell's coach here for the Rockets. Anyway, let's see the NBA teams. Maybe Anthony Bennett makes an appearance. He does not, but he's obviously going to be all defensive first team. And the Hornets are the first seed, man. Things are looking up for the Hornets and Anthony Bennett right now. Let's go ahead and check out the stats. Anthony Bennett averaging 15, 11, and 6, shooting 51% from the field and 36% from the field. I wonder if his actual ratings went up after, you know, um, actually, like, getting all those badges. I think his attributes have been slowly going up just here and there, but I don't think they actually went up like crazy. Yeah, it was really just the badges, honestly. His potential is also an A, so maybe it goes up, because, again, his peak end age is 41, so I don't know if he's going to get any better. Probably not, but we'll see. But let's go ahead and see these playoffs. The first playoffs of the entire video that actually matters. So, here we go. Game one versus the Knicks. Uh, the Knicks take game two. The Knicks don't do this. This isn't funny. Okay, this is a bad troll. This is a this is a very bad this is a bad troll. Okay, at least we're gonna get a simcast. But you know what? We kind of deserve it. Okay, for the whole, you know, KD allegation fiasco with the NBA playgrounds. I may have made three in a row. I may have not made three in a row. So, you know, I understand if you want to take it out of me, you know, little, you know, deflate gate, Tom Brady suspension, you know, that kind of thing. We'll hop into this, I guess, or eh, they're up four. Eh, we kind of got it covered. Yeah, we got it covered. All right, we'll go to game seven. So I understand the basketball gods and the 2K gods want to take it out on us right here, but it looks like it looks like, you know, it was just a little bit of a scam. Just a little, oh my, oh my god. We scored 53 points in the third quarter. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, uh, Lamello, we have Lamello, Bull Bull, and we have Anthony Bennett on one team. Anthony Bennett is out here dropping triple doubles like they're nothing, man. And now we're playing against the Indiana Pacers, who've, who've actually been a very good team during this entire simulation. So here we go. Game one, Pacers take. Game two, we take. Game three, we take. Game four, they take. Game five, we take. All right, Simcast. We got a very intense playoff matchup here. I don't know if DeJounte's still here or Halliburton. They've had some really weird teams but have still been able to be contenders most of the time. But it looks like we're going to move on to the conference finals, man, and another blowout. And now for the conference finals against Miami. Well, again, you know, Miami's a rough-nosed team, that whole heat culture thing. You know I mean? I got it on the bottle right here. So, you know, stuff. It's going to be tough here. I don't think we're going to win this series, but we're going to give it our all. Game one, Miami takes game two. Charlotte takes game three. Charlotte takes game four. Charlotte takes. You know what? I did that for you guys because every single time I mention Miami in a playoff series, they just get smoked. So I did that for you guys. And now we're playing Houston in the finals. It's probably a pretty good team with Jalen Green and others. So we'll see them. Oh, the. What is this basketball team? What is this basketball team? Tatum, Webanyama, Jabari Smith, and Jalen Green. Bro, bro. <laughs> we are not beating this team. We are not beating this basketball team. There's no Dude, this is the craziest team I've ever seen, bro. <laughs> there's, there's no way we're beating this team. Anyway, here we go. Game one, Rockets take. Game two, Rockets take. Game three, we got a game. Game four, we got another game. Game five. Okay, all right, all right, it's fine. If you told me we were going to have a game six down three to this team, I'd say I'll take that every single time, bro. I will take that opportunity because... Because we're not going to get another one that's even close. Are we going to get a possible hop in? Oh, no. No, we're not yet. No, the Rocket just smoked us. Uh, yeah, no. Nah, it's not going to happen. So, uh... That's tough. We went down fighting, though. There's just no way we're going to stop a team of Jalen Green, Victor Weminyana, Jason Tatum, and Jabari Smith Jr., bro. That's just not going to happen. That's crazy. And now we're going to make our way to player progression. Maybe he goes up higher. I have no idea. We'll see. All right, here's player progression. And Anthony Bennett... It <laughs> oh, God, I don't know. 
<laughs> oh no, dude, what is going on? What's what's going on? I think the badges may have went down, huh? Is that is that is that what happened? Did the badges take it? Yeah, some of these badges went down the gold. Yeah, that's what happened. Okay, well, you know what? That makes sense. I understand it. I got it. I'm not gonna complain. So you know, I got I I I, I got it. Well, at least we're still we're, we're a viable basketball player. This is easily the craziest miracle world video we've done. I mean, just <laughs> just the ups and downs of this man's career has been insane. He's not even good enough to start, bro. He's the eighth man on this roster. That's kind of ass. I mean, how does he start? not start over Jalen Noel at least anyway here we go with another challenge hopefully it's something to where we can actually you know be good at and uh and win what do we got here pull a dark matter and one of three my team packs you know what as oversaturated as my team is right now with the amount of good cards there are I, I like my odds here all right so there's these end game packs where they have taco and jr and katie and t-mac and they give you a 25 percent chance to get a dark matter i like those odds but then there's these packs where um they give you they give you a pretty good good chance to get a get a dark matter like it's like a yeah i mean it's there like they give you you know they give you a pretty pretty good shot like i don't, I don't know I, I, I might try this one all right well now we got our uh, vc time to open one of these packs and hopefully we get a dark matter out of this one because well i mean we got to make bennett better bro I, I can't even play it off <laughs> i can't i can't bro i can't i played it i played the durant one off pretty good you know but this one we're just gonna have to wear it <laughs> You know, I'm taking advantage of the situation of it being my team in literal mid-July. So, what are you going to do? Is this Dark Matter Westbrook? That's, like, probably bad because this jump shot sucks, right? Like, it like it's, it takes really long to get off. But a Dark Matter is a Dark Matter, and we got ourselves it sold out. Thanks. I, next time we do a Miracle World video, I will not be able to use that as a, uh, a ploy unless they give me another opportunity for it. Then I will be doing it every single time. All right, Miracle Will, what do you got for us? We've been through a lot. We've really realistically only had one good thing happen. They have to be better off the Miracle Will, honestly. So, okay. That's a good one. I don't love it, but it'll make them it'll put make them put up crazy numbers. So I'm cool with it. So plus 30 to all tendencies. Again, not gonna raise his overall, which is kind of what we want, but still, it's gonna give them all the tendencies to put up buckets and you know play great defense and do all those kind of things. Except obviously we're gonna lower the fouling back down because we don't want him just you know fouling out of games in the first five seconds. Although his fouling really wasn't that high. His foul tendency was like a 42, which isn't that bad, and his hard foul was actually a zero. Or, oh, sorry, that's take charge. I'm stupid. That's that was take charge. His hard foul was a 35, sir. So actually it was a five my bad i guess i can't hate that one that one's kind of like a build see that's a nice one to get when you get the freebie in the beginning of the video we've had that happen i think in the last miracle world video we, 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 yeah sorry i can't talk because it's just been going through a lot today but uh anyway let's just get to the season bro i've had enough okay and the mvp is Lamelo ball neil atkins rookie of the year six man of the year dylan mitchell defense a hey, he's still winning them so we're good defensive player of the year anthony bennett most approved terry madison and coaching their jack morrison for the hornets there we go let's see if anthony bennett with those boosted tendencies found himself on an NBA team. My guess is probably not all defensive first team, obviously, but um, yeah. Oh, oh I thought that. Ah, oh, I thought it said Anthony Bennett, but it was Anthony Edwards on the Lakers now. Okay. And the Hornets are the first seed. No surprise there. They have one of the best players in the league, obviously, Anthony Bennett, so he's going to do his thing. And let's check out the stats. Lamelo dropping 29 a game. Bennett giving us 18, 8, and 6. They got Jared Jackson doing it for some great defense and scoring the basketball. They got Tyrell Terry. They got Jalen Noel. It's a very good team, man. Probably should win the championship, at least now. That'd be nice to get, get Bennett the ring, man. Uh, at least an important ring. He already has a ring, but that ring don't matter and Bennett is now starting for the team he's the starting small forward so that's good and we're playing Toronto in the first round here we go game one Toronto takes game two we take I don't know why I just hit Simcast there anyway game three they take game four we take is this really gonna go seven games I don't know why we gotta go seven games with the with the uh the, or we're going six right now but if Toronto takes a game we'll be going seven we gotta go this many games with the eighth seed it feels like all the most competitive series that I do in sim videos are literally the eighth seed games and it makes no sense Lamelo with a near triple double Jaron Jackson dropping 25 how did Anthony Bennett do 11 7 and 7 probably brought some great defense as well and we got the magic in the second round probably got still got ben carroll maybe a few other guys hopefully just not like that stack houston team where they have four superstars so here we go game one we take game two they take game three they take game four we take game five all right we're up three two again and we got to get out of this second round get on to the conference finals get to the finals to give anthony bennett what we all been trying to give him which is a well-earned championship as one of the best players on a team that's what we all want to see man and uh looks like we're going to game seven so i don't know about that jaron jackson played well everyone played okay Lamella probably got to play better than that but uh what about Bennett six points bro come on you you are better than that bro oh god Ben Carroll's going crazy we cannot blow this game seven man the window on Anthony Bennett winning a championship which, okay there, there's a fly in my face I don't know if that's coming up on the camera but there's literally a fly in my face but um coming down to the wire here, maybe our first hop in game that'd be pretty cool two point game 40 seconds left game seven we'll hop in let's do it is Bennett in the game he is in the game right there um right at the basket but we got to get a stop which I mean who better to get a stop than the defense player that 
That's crazy. I, I, that's 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 insane. We just leave him open. Dude, Anthony Bennett is crazy huge, but pause. Listen, Ben, I know this is your video, but we're trying to win this game. Let's give it to LaMelo, have him ISO and go crazy, or just waste the timeout for no reason. That's a great strategy, too. I guarantee we inbound the ball again, and we also call timeout again. Oh, we did it this time. That's a start. Amari Bailey trying to drive, not really getting anything to go. Bennett with the basketball, maybe. Want to give it to LaMelo. That'd be a good idea. A little pick and roll for Anthony Bennett with the feet. Oh, good rebound. Get out to Bennett. Oh, Bennett was wide open. Bailey using the screen. Bailey Hezzy. Yeah, we lost. All right, well, it's been fun. I Listen, bro, the, that was that was great. And we'll go to simulate the playoffs. The Magic are your champions. Paolo Beccaro, finals, MVP. Good on him. And let's see where our... Did he get traded, or is he... Oh, he's just getting worse because of the badges, bro. Okay. <laughs> listen, we still have some time, because, again, his peak end age is 41 years old, so we still have time. It's just... We're running out of it. Come on, challenge wheel. Please bless us with an actual good challenge that I can get done quickly, easily, so that we can make Anthony Bennett an amazing player. Oh, man. Okay, I... I think I am 0 for 3 on these, but I've gotten very close to the times we've done it. I'm confident in my ability, and we're going to get it done. All right, so if you've never seen Type Racer, we have to type this whole prompt, and whoever comes in first is the winner. Uh, how fast you type it. And I'm locked in. I'm not. Li I'm literally not talking. And though it's always been me, I must tear down the wall and let it be. All I am and all... No, what? What? That I was ever meant to be in harmony, shine true, and smiling back at all who wait to cross. There is no loss. Did I win? I won! Yes! I finally won a goddamn type racer, bro. Jesus Christ, I finally won. It's about damn time. I was killing that. I messed up on the that in the middle of it, but other than that, I literally bodied the rest of the A1 words per minute. That's pretty good for me not being like the traditional type where you have like your four fingers in the middle, like between the G and H, and like you're, you know, typing like a sweat. I just kind of poke around. So, I mean, you know, I did pretty good. Hopefully, the Miracle Wheel gods, the basketball gods, and the 2K gods bless us with a good one here. I earned that challenge. Challenge. I did that one completely right. Come on. All shooting attributes, 99. That's not bad. We'll take it. All right, so here's Anthony Bennett. He currently is an 80 overall right now, but we got to make all of his ratings all the way up. So that includes close shot, mid-range, three-point. All this stuff's going up. Midi's going up to a 99. That three-point shot's going all the way up to a 99. The free throw's going up to a 99. I guess the post hook is technically a shot, but that falls into the finishing category when you do badges like on an actual my player. So I'm not going to include it. Post fade's going to go up to a 99. I don't know how often he's going to do that. Maybe it's 10 these went up since we upped um up them by 30 maybe i don't know and i guess shot iq that's part of it yeah that's, that's got to go up to a 99 as well and i believe that's it yeah that's everything shooting wise which still he's up to an 87 now so we, we did good there and now he's the starting shooting guard of the charlotte hornets and this is probably how it's gonna stand i mean most of his badges are probably down like silver now i'm assuming or yeah most of them are silver right now hopefully the shooting ones stay or even get better because we just made all of the shooting attributes 99 so hopefully those stay but everything else is kind of up and up for grabs honestly and the defensive ones will stay most of the part all right, and Luka Doncic is your MVP. Colin Vincent, rookie. There's the fly, bro. It's pissing me off. Anyway, all right, let's move on. Defensive player of the year, Anthony Bennett. Once again, most improved player, Darren Miles. And coach of the year, Chauncey Billups for the Rockets. Yeah, that stacked ass team isn't going anywhere, I guess. Let's see the NBA teams. Maybe Anthony Bennett made one now that he could shoot the ball, shoot the lights out. Nope, okay. And the Hornets still the first seed, second best team in the league. Can't beat the Hornets. Hornets. Rockets. And here are the stats. Jaron Jackson dropping 20 a game, but we got three 20 point per game scores. Bennett dropping 19, 8, and 6, man. He's playing great. How's shooting from three 38 percent not bad all right come on this has to be the championship run game one they take game two we take game three they take game four we like why is every series have to be down to the wire why can we not just clean sweep a team that we're probably clearly better than with anthony bennett Lamelo ball and jaron jackson jr man like that's a big three right there and of course we got to go seven games with this team man i'm not even gonna check the box score on who's on the damn team because it shouldn't matter they're the eighth seed bro we should smoke them come down to the fourth quarter and we are smoking them so that is gonna do it there and Lamelo had to drop 42 10 and 9 to get this one done bennett had to drop 20 to 10 and 8 like who is on this team they got keegan murray they got the so moves good in 2k sim so i got it and uh everyone else i mean there's no one crazy here and now we have the pacers who've been pretty good throughout most of the sim game one we take game two we take game three see like why can't that just happen isn't that nice can we do that against the bucks here i mean i'm sure Giannis isn't very good anymore at this point so like or maybe i i'm sure he's in the league but still i mean can we just get to the finals thank you and now we gotta play houston let's see if this team has changed there's no way they have been able to keep all four of those guys under contract on one team there's no way 
contract. And I was somehow wrong. They've kept all of them on contract. They still have Tatum. They still have Victor. They still have Jabari Smith. And they have Jalen Green. We're not beating this team. We're not better. It's just not going to happen. This is like LeBron running into the Warriors in 2018, bro. Like, like, there's nothing we can... There's literally nothing we can do. Game one, we take. Game two, we take. Game three, they take. We somehow... Are, I, I wasn't trying to get too excited because, you know, 2K will be 2K. But um, looks like we're down 3-2 now after going up 2-0. So now we're going to have to muster up a comeback. Maybe hop into a game. Something like that. Maybe a better memory for Anthony Bennett other than just, you know, blowing that fourth quarter with that weak-ass jumper. Getting down to it. This might be a hopping game. It's... Oh, jeez. One point game with a minute left. Yeah, we got to hop in. It's the finals. And I think that's Tyrell Terry. He's at the free throw line right now. So if we can just go up two or three points, that's good. I think it's one free throw. Oh, no. It's two. Okay. 53 seconds and the Rockets call a timeout. All right. Jesus Christ. All right, here we go. Just no open threes to this stacked ass team. I'm sure everyone on the court can shoot right now, but we got to just relax. Make sure we don't give up nothing easy. Good defense, baby. Is that Jaron Jackson? He's got the ball. Okay. Oh my God, give it to Bennett. Give it to Bennett. Give it to Bennett. He's in the corner. Give it to Bennett. There's Bennett in the corner. Come on. Go to work. Post up or something. Go to work. You got all that strength. Oh my God, you got bailed out with a foul call. Oh my God. There is no way. 350 pound Anthony Bennett just got bodied by Jalen Green right there. The clutches free throws of Bennett's life. Got the first. I mean, he literally has a 99 free throw, so he shouldn't miss these ever. And the Rockets have one timeout, but it would be smart to not use it because if you can get up here and just... Okay, again, I don't... I guess I know nothing. I'm not an NBA coach, so... Okay. Jabari Smith with the ball. They need a three. That's off. All right. Look at that. We're going to a game seven, baby. It was because of Anthony Bennett's aggressiveness and his willingness to win that we were able to take this to a game seven, even though he shot two for 10 and had a 6-6-6 stat line. That's, if that's not a curse, then I don't know what is. Anyway, here we go. Game seven of the NBA finals. Please, at least if they're going to lose, make it competitive. Like, can we at least get a hop in game? That'd be nice. Coming down to the fourth quarter, Rockets have a big lead right now. The Hornets are going to need to go on a crazy run, but it looks like they're just not going to do it. Oh man, this is a sad loss. They're up 20. Y'all just got 20 balled like that in the fourth quarter, man. That is sad. That's a bad way to go out. Man, I cannot believe this is going to happen. Tatum dropping 20 and 10. Jabari Smith with 30, 11, and 5. Like, this team is just too stacked, bro. Like, it's just, what are you going to do? Here's player progression. Anthony Bennett still here has an 86 overall, so he didn't get that much worse. That's good. Uh, LaMelo Ball still 98. Like, we still have a very good team. We're just not that team. That's just, uh, that's crazy. And here we go with another spin of the challenge. Will, we got to make him like a 94, 95 overall to really give us a shot to not, I don't say to beat them, because we could beat them. Check the time, even all right, so it is currently it is currently 9:48. You see it, you see it. It's an even time. All right, we just won that challenge, man. I forget who submitted that challenge a few months ago, honestly. Uh, but thank you because I think I've won. Did I get the fly? Oh, I, I don't know if you guys saw the fly, but I thought I got it. And now to spin the miracle wheel. We just need something where it's like all attributes up like 20 or something like that. Something something simple. Um, no shooting attributes. Max contract, minimum money. Okay, so this is one where we give him a five-year deal, but he's actually making minimum money. It's not good for him and his career because obviously if you're you know a great player in the league and you're making you know five million dollars over the course of five years that's not good but it's good for his team because then they can bring in some good guys but he's already not really making that much money but we're gonna do what the game says i'm gonna give him a max contract but it's all for the minimum amount of money we could possibly give him so now anthony bennett is on a six year seven million dollar contract which i mean in real life i think we'd all be happy to have that but i'm sure anthony bennett is pissed right now but listen it's for the good of your career we're here to revive your career not your monetary value okay there's a difference all right and lamella ball is the mvp once again i think he's won it like about eight times six times okay i was close enough anyway rookie of the year daryl west all fake players at this point six man of the year bam what would what, what we be doing lately bam we haven't been doing much that's okay that's great anyway defensive player of the year evan mobley okay most approved player ross elliott and coach of the year jack morrison for the hornets there we go and can anthony bennett make an all nba team is that possible he has yet to do it he's making all defensive first teams we know that but he has yet to make an all nba team and the hornets once again first seed that's not our problem again it's been houston <laughs> we know this let's check out the stats Anthony Bennett, we have three 20 point per game scores on one team. Even Tyrell Terry's giving us 15 a game. Chris Duarte's giving us 13. Like, we are a very capable basketball team. Bennett, we just got to put a great run together, and this is the run. It's right now. And it's versus the Knicks. Here we go. Game one, they take. Game two, we take. Game, th like, is every game have to, like, okay, can we just thank you? See, that's nice. Isn't that nice? They can have, like, a little gentleman sweep, and that's fine. Now, versus the Wizards, same thing. Game one, we take. Game two, of course. Game three. 
Of course, game four, we gotta, it's gotta, it's gotta be close. I'm not even gonna entertain it. If it goes game seven, there you go. Okay, we're, just, we're not even gonna entertain those kind of shows because we know where our battle is, and it's really with Houston. We, we're kind of bored of the season. We're, we're here to go up against Houston because we know that's our real matchup. And game five simulated, and we're in the finals, and obviously against Houston. Again, let's see if their team has changed at all. And the Rockets have not changed. They're still stacked as ever, so we got a lot of work to do. Game one, here we go. The Rockets take. Game two, the, bro, is real like, this is crazy. Okay, we got a game. We got two games. All right, we're not dead yet. But if this video in the whole first half of the video, we, we got screwed over the challenges, honestly, and then some of the Miracle Wheel spots just weren't that good. And now that we're actually good at basketball, Houston just comes out of nowhere and is smoking us every single year, and we, we're, we're dead. Bennett with 31. He gave it his all. He actually played a really good game, but just like, what are you going to do about this team, bro? There is no stopping this big four, the greatest dynasty of all time with Jason Tatum, Webb and Yama, Jalen Green and Jabari Smith, bro. There's no stopping this team. Rockets are the champion. Jason Tatum finals MVP, bro. This is insane. And here's player progression. Anthony Bennett is probably not going anywhere unless they somehow find a trade for him, but I doubt it. But he is on a cheap contract, so he is easy to move, but I doubt he gets moved, so we'll see. And Lamella has one left on his contract, so we'll see if he stays or leaves. At this point, we're going to need a big boost to Bennett, bro. If, we, if we're going to be able to hang with the Rockets, we, we need someone to get better, and it's going to have to be Bennett. So here we go. Random NBA player. Yeah, random NBA player, odd jersey number. All right, let's get it. All right, the rules are very simple. I'm going to click generate. It's going to give me an NBA player just like this. I'll do it once. It's just a test. It doesn't count. So we're going to do it once and we're going to see if the player has an odd jersey number three, two, one, generate. And it is Tobias Harris. I actually don't know what his number is. And Tobias Harris jersey number is 12. So uh, yeah, we lost on that one. So we'll just have to go ahead and simulate the season. But before we do that, we'll check out the rotation. We're still, again, a very, very, very good basketball team. One of the two best teams in the league. But it's just like, it's literally like we're going up against the 2017 Golden State Warriors every single year. Like, it's literally what this is. And LaMelo Ball is the MVP once again. Glenn Levin's Rookie of the Year. Tyrell Terry, sixth man of the year. We, we just, we have everyone. Except, I guess, we're not winning Defensive Player of the Year anymore. Evan Mobley kind of took that. Most improved player, Eldon Willis. And Coach of the Year, Chauncey Bills for the Rockets, bro. We somehow turned this Anthony Bennett career revival into a long-term dynasty run between the Hornets and the, the long-term rivalry. It's like Magic and Bird, bro, part two with the, the Rockets and the Hornets, man. And we're at a third seed now, so we're kind of falling off and the Rockets are still staying as the best team in the league. And as for Anthony Bennett, still averaging his cool 28 and six, doing his thing, shooting 41% from three. I mean, look at LaMelo shooting 47% from three. Like, LaMelo is going crazy. Bennett's been playing very well, but let's see if it'll actually result into a championship. Here we go. Game one, Hornets take. Game two, Hornets take. Game three, Hornets take. Look at that, a queen. Okay, not a clean sweep and and we'll take the gentleman sweep. Now we got the Wizards again. We clean clean sweep them last time, but they're the second seed. They're actually better than us, and they're, they're going to sweep us. Is that? Wow. Okay. So who, who's on this team? They have uh, Cameron Whitmore. I don't know who this is. Is this a real person? Okay. I think it actually is a real person. Um, We got Ron Holland, Bull Bull. Okay. Ross Elliott, Malik Monk. Like, this team's not better than us, but whatever. And now we'll just have to go ahead and simulate the playoffs. And the, I thought someone was actually about to beat the Rockets, man. Like, this team, that's insane. Who's on the Bucks to where they actually got close. They got Fox, who's really good in the 2K Sims. They got Justin Edwards. I don't know who that is. They got Dyson Daniels. They got DeAndre Ayton. They got Keon Johnson. Not a bad team, but they're not even better than us, so I don't know how they got that close. Anyway, the Rockets don't lose. We knew that already. Player retirements. Kyrie retiring. Miles Turner. Siakam and B. Levine. Mikhail Bridges. And here's player progression where... He really, wait, how did he get, he really got traded on that contract? I'm actually, I'm surprised. Oh my God, he retired. He didn't, he didn't, oh my God, there's no way he retired. I think he actually did retire. Let me scroll down. Let's see if, I don't think I'm going to be able to bring him back though. I think he's done. Yeah, I think, yeah, I can't bring him back. Oh my god, dude. So here is the official career revival, Anthony Bennett, man. You know, didn't start out too hot. Was a career reserve for the first, first two or three years. We just couldn't really get out the game plan for him. Then he got a few minutes of game on Dallas, and then he went to Charlotte and was getting a minute a game, and pretty much closed out the rest of his career in Charlotte, where he averaged 15 a game, 18 a game, 19 a game, 20 a game. Had some really good years and made some really great finals runs with LaMelo. Just ran into the greatest dynasty of all time in the Houston Rockets. So that was kind of unfortunate. He was a one-time NBA champion, but he really had no part in that, so he was just kind of, he was literally a reserve when that happened. Defensive player of the year three times, though. Defensive player of the year three times. That will that could get you into the Hall of Fame. We'll see if he made the Hall of Fame. I don't think he did, but, you know, we'll see if he did. First team all defense four times, and second team all defense uh, one time. His career high was 44. Field goals made 17. Field goals attempted 29. Three-pointers made in a game was 8. Free throws made 13. Rebounds 23. Offensive rebounds 9. Defensive rebounds 19. 16 assists in a game. Steals 5. Blocks 
sucks six and minutes played 46. And I don't think he's gonna make... Yeah, he didn't make the Hall of Fame, bro. That sucks, bro. That... Man, like, if we would have just... If, if we would have just got a few more years with Bennett, I think he could have made the Hall of Fame because we would have eventually... That Rocket team would have eventually died down and we could have gotten a legitimate ring, but I don't think... The, three defensive player of the year awards was enough i guess it just it just wasn't enough but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the revival of anthony bennett's career using the miracle wheel in 2k22 i know it may not have been the video you thought it was with bennett winning all these championship rings becoming a 99 overall and all that but that's kind of what i like about this series is that not every single player is going to become just this superstar who wins a million rings even though i'm not going to spoil some of them but some of the other miracle wheel videos we've done before nothing really even happened as far as him like winning championships and stuff like that but he turned out to be a good player and stuff and put up some nice numbers um, but there's some guys who just won a bunch of championships as well. So, you know, it just kind of goes all around. But I think it just keeps the excitement up. You don't know what's going to happen next with the Miracle Wheel. And, um, you know, maybe some of the challenges could have went our way. But also, the Miracle Wheel wasn't too kind to us either. There's a lot of really good ones there. We had a few nice ones that happened to us. But still, it was not too kind to us when we did end up winning some of those challenges. And also, Anthony Bennett being 29 years old to start out also, you know, throws it off a little bit. But it, it keeps it real in the terms of reviving his career from when he needs to be revived. And not, you know, just making him young and just starting his career all over again. At that point, that's just a career resimulation. It's not really miracle wheel and all that kind of stuff but since bennett won zero championships i would not be giving away any money but you know just stick around subscribe to the channel if you want to you know get involved in, in the other simulations where you have opportunities to win money anyway so um yeah hope you guys enjoy comment below who you want to see next uh maybe we'll do another actual bus type player because again this is the first actual nba bus player we did all the other ones were just kind of regular players but you know even though bennett didn't have that much success this was a lot of fun to record we had a lot of funny moments with the with the challenges there were a lot of crazy moments in the sims itself um with like the rockets killing us and other moments and all that kind of stuff so i'm um, in you know better be cut from teams it was it, it was a lot of fun just didn't go the way we thought but anyway i'm babbling all at this point hope you guys enjoyed um i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here one finger one pinky one thumb one love i'm out fade the black wow that was that was something i, I that was that was quite the career